to rescue, uh, well, basically, we finished the tasks we needed to in the Jerusalem Bazaar, the marketplace. We saw Fatima and took her test of symbols with the goddesses. Then that, uh, that gave us access to the catacombs, which we rescued Galahad. And then we um, gave the offering to Aphrodite, reached back to the surface in a temple, Aphrodite temple. And then we just ended the stream by defeating uh, the Saracen in a, uh, in a fencing battle of, of sorts. So that's where we're going to pick things off. Um, so we have rescued all three of the knights. Um, the only thing we have really left to do on our on our master checklist here is get the the Holy Grail. I do seek a Grail, Vimok, indeed. Um, let's give a Cedric here at the start of the stream. Bonus Cedric. Uh, the trivia question was, of course, earlier at the, uh, in the morning stream. Servo. DBZ. Okay. Um, let's restore the Saracen fight. Yes, yeah, so we just defeated him. Um, yeah, we got the dove from Aphrodite. I've forgotten actually already what the Aph that the dove would be used for. I put love dove. I was trying to think of love as my shield or whatever. Uh, look dove. Okay, there's the dove. We have the dove. So I think we should be able to, let me just double check our score, 215, 153, 248, oh, and the timer as well, let's start the timer, there we go, yeah, hopefully Mr. Viking, um, we've rescued all three knights, so we only have uh, the grail left to find, and we may have done all the combat too, which would be awesome if that were the case, gotten through all the combat sequences. Eat of. The alley is bounded by tall buildings without windows or doors. It takes a sharp turn not far from the temple stairs. Is there a window? Is there a jail cell here? What's this little grating? Okay, we have to go to the right here. I love Dev. Hey, glitch. Ooh, look at this. Head of a statue. It could be the head of a god, a king, a warrior. Who can say? Perhaps the entire statue is buried. We shall never know. It's strange story. The alley ends here, going nowhere. All the other walls around you are featureless. But to one side, there is an alcove in which rests the weathered head of an ancient stone statue. And there is a window at the top of the alcove and another tiny grate at the bottom. There's a tiny grate or barred opening of some sort at the base of this wall. I believe it may even be the top of a buried window. So may I have to dig or something? There's a small window high in this alcove with a single metal bar across it. Okay, um, can we pick up these rocks or anything? No? Alright. These are brick walls covered with plaster. Nothing significant. Okay, can we... Um, push head that is quite impossible for it is partially buried and would weigh far more than you could manage to move can we climb climb head the window is too high to reach uh, can we look in window okay that's the same thing yeah same thing um, dig mysterious request Oh, by the way, if you're just coming in, the uh, slots are frozen. Slots and guns are frozen. Okay. Um, and we can't go south from here, I'm guessing. So we have to find some like secret uh, sort of entrance or exit here. Used of. Does nothing here. All right. Um, we don't have anything to dig with. We still have the green apple. By the way, are we still afflicted with the poison or not? The rat poison? From the rat biting us? I guess not. Uh, what's the deal with that? Can we... 
uh, undig out head? No, that doesn't make sense. Um, what's here in the corner? A hole of some kind, you know? Look, bar. Okay, that was the same thing as the uh, window. Ah, we are still poisoned, okay. Maybe we can give the apple to the, uh, <laughs> to the head. Tiny grate at the bottom. Look great. So the good news is my mute button works again. I don't know if the, um, if there's still going to be crackling in the mic, though. Okay, we can't pick up a rock or anything. No. All right. Um, which direction are we facing? Okay. Doesn't don't think that does a whole lot for us, but okay. Wait, I wanted tab. Yeah. Um, use medallion. No further use for the moment. All right. So clearly, there's a head. There's a grating. There's a um, window. Yeah, barred opening. Can we look opening here? Nothing significant, okay. So did I miss something on the way in? Let's see if there's anything else in the arena. There is this um, spiral. The spiral carved into the threshold is lunar, that is. It turns to the left and denotes feminine power and influence. Right, because this is supposed to be Aphrodite's temple or whatever. Can we use the dove here? Aha, the stone dove feels oddly warm. It is changing. By the power of Aphrodite, it turns to a living dove within your very hands. And it flies away. Is it going to show us the way out of here? Now it's just going to fly around the temple. Okay, now something's happening. Oh. Oh, it's Aphrodite herself. Where you stand, once my priestesses stood. My name was spoken with reverence. My statue and holy of holies were housed within, where only that bare pedestal remains. The last thing my worshippers would see as they left my temple was this leftward spiral upon the threshold, a reminder of life turning ever onwards. As with life, so too does power pass onward. Even gods and goddesses fall prey to the endless cycle. My reign here is ended. I shall never return. Wow, so her time is over, huh? You have won the sacred cup by your determination and persistence, by cleverness and skill of arms. I surrender it to you. Oh, I had no idea that we were this close to the end. Wow. But beware, the power of the grail itself will pass final judgment upon your worthiness to possess it. Start where you should start, turn as you should turn, and count the places of the pillars until you reach my sacred number. Beneath that pillar you shall find what you seek. Okay, I think her number is, sacred number is six. So we have to go to pillar six, but... Where should we start and where do we turn? That's the interesting thing. All right, we did pick up five skill points and five wisdom points. Um, so that can get us a, uh, an extra Cedric here. Uh, 220... Of. So she said, start where you should start, turn where you should turn. I mean, if the pillars were numbered, that would be helpful. I don't know. Um, go to pillar six. Each broken pillar looks much the same as its neighbor. You must find the right one by your wits. I see. 
Okay, so if it's left, if the spiral starts spinning left, we should move in a... Yeah, sort of a counterclockwise way, so... The question is, this may, might count as one. This would be two and this would be three, because that's where they're standing. So, if these are three, then we do four, five, six. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure, yeah, we're not we're not perfect by any means either. Four, five, this would be six, I don't know. How do we, what'd she say about um, starting this? That was the question. Do we have to do an incantation or how do we, uh, how do we like select the pillar is the question. I feel like, yeah. Stand on pillar, select pillar, no. Hmm, um, I don't think we would use the medallion. Can we eat the apple? Would that happen? Did anything happen? I don't think anything's gonna happen. Yeah, giving us a new surge of strength. Yeah. Well, the delays the final death at the end. Yeah, we need a grail to really do that. All right, let's restore then, because we haven't gotten a warning message that we're in bad shape yet, so I want to save the apple until we actually need it. Hey, Kosher X. Hey, it's been a while. How are you? So if I want to choose this, I don't know how to go about choosing this um, pillar. You know, I'm going to see what she said again one more time. Let's go back here and then um, release the dove again. I want to see what she said. Oh, she said to inspect the pillar. Oh, thanks, DBZ. Yeah, because I, miss, I missed how uh, one, two, three, Four, five, six. I mean, this presumes that we're starting there. I don't know if that's really the starting point, but. No, inspect is just like look. So that doesn't, no, nothing happens there. All right, let me, let me go back, see what she said again. Yeah, doing well, Kosher X. How are you, sir? Let's just see this one more time. Because she said start where you should start and then turn where you should turn. I'm also wondering, yeah, we probably need to stand there, I guess, to release the dove. Maybe we could have released it anywhere. Maybe we start in the middle, though. Could also be something. The last thing they would see as they left was the leftward spire upon the threshold, reminder of life turning ever onwards. Start where you, where you should start. Turn as you should turn. Count the places of the pillars until you reach my sacred number. Beneath that pillar. Okay, you shall find what you seek. So we have to like dig beneath the pillar. Okay. Uh, the only question then becomes where should we start? I mean, I think we need to move. I mean, this seems like both the entrance and the exit. So if we move counterclockwise from here again, that's where I would end up. So we have to look beneath the pillar. So we could try saying something like that. I mean, I don't think we can dig through marble or granite, or whatever these things are. Look beneath pillar. An interesting idea if one can find a way to do so. Dig under pillar. No, look under pillar. Okay, so maybe we need um, a shovel or something. Maybe that's where that statue head comes into play. Um, four broken and fallen pillars. How many were here? Four again. Yeah. Three broken pillars and one more fourth one set. Okay. Can I get onto this pedestal? The round pedestal in the center of the temple's ruins must have once held an altar or statue, but it's empty now. So I think we need like a 
We need somewhere to look under. Maybe we push the pillars over if they're in such bad shape. I mean, a number of them have already fallen over, right? Three broken, yeah. So yeah, let's try... Well, it's already kind of fallen down anyway, but... Can we push pillar? Yeah. Aye, it moves! You have found it! You have found the grail! Nice. Are we worthy to possess it, is the question, though. One hand barely touches the sacred cup through a tiny gap in the white cloth that covers it. The grail's power pours through you and restores you instantly to perfect health. So that's probably a good sign that we are worthy. You are dazed with the Grail's power, but you must recover yourself and find a way out of here. Camelot must sa be saved before... Ah, the thief is struck again! Stop him! Oh my god, the damn thief! Go, get after him. Oh, here. Maybe I drop my sword. First catch the thief, then decide how to deal with him. Fine. Okay, now here's where that statue head and the windows are going to come into play. I like this. this one. By all the gods, he will escape. Ah, he got a rope. Nay, your god smiles upon you. His rope has broken. Mercy, mercy, master, mercy. I am only a poor, miserable wretch. Have mercy. Here is your treasure, untouched. Take it and let me live, I beg you. Have mercy. So clearly we do need to be merciful here. He is a pathetic creature. You must choose, Arthur. Either take up the grail now in an act of mercy, or draw your sword and slay him. Okay, let's take the grail. By the gods, he dared to stab you in the back. If not for your male tunic, you would be dead at the hands of this foul dog. Oh, curse him, curse him. It is time to let the Grail decide his fate. Hopefully he has chosen poorly. Yep, <laughs> okay, he's gone. And so he comes to the end he deserves. Now you must move quickly to find Galahad and return to Camelot. Well, didn't, um, didn't Aphrodite say that she would get Galahad out of the catacombs? We'll see. Out of heap space. Uh-oh, is that a... Damn it, it crashed. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm like, heap doesn't sound good. That sounds like a, that sounds like a memory error of some kind. <sighs> So now we have to go back here. Let me see. hope that I can save it. That was, I'm pretty surprised I actually got the exact location of the um, the Grail though, right the first time. Okay, let's see if we can power through this part again. Yeah, hopefully there's a one-time uh, crash, and we don't... It's not going to be a game-breaking one. <laughs> Make some space for heap. Out of heap.
See, I can't imagine if you decide to kill him, you're probably your soul. You won't get as many soul points for doing that. I'm guessing. So we're gonna take the Grail again. Um, actually, can I save it here? Yeah, let's let's save here just in case it crashes again. We don't have to do as much with it. Two twenty Grail. Actually, did we get points for? We probably did. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, we got a hundred skill skill points and a hundred wisdom points and a hundred soul points. My God. Wow. So yeah, uh, in answer to Mr. Viking's question, uh, Scylla was correct. You do just get a <laughs> boatload of points towards the end. Uh, wisdom up to 258. And soul up to 348. Yeah, so actually we almost have a perfect uh, soul record. Maybe if we get these 10 points for taking the grail as opposed to getting rid of it. Um, I'm sorry, taking the grail instead of slaying him, we may get per maybe we get perfect soul points. Anyway, let's give out the, the 30, <laughs> 30 Cedrics. Um, yeah, that was one for 10. Yeah, we got, yeah, 30. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Take Grail. So hopefully we won't be out of heat this time. But remember, slots are frozen, by the way, before anyone tries to buy anything. And so he comes to the end he deserves. Hopefully we're not out of heap. Now you must move quickly to find Galahad and return to Camelot. Ah, oh, damn it, we're out of heap space. God damn it. All right. Uh, uh, should we try... Um, I mean, should I try killing him? We could see what happens. Maybe we won't be out of heap. Unless anyone else has any other ideas. Let's try, see what happens. I do not blame you for slaying him. After all the grief he has caused you, the merchants of Jerusalem would no doubt thank you. At last, the grail is unharmed. Now you must move quickly to find Galahad and return to Camelot. Do we get points for killing him? No, you don't. We should have seen whether we got points for um, letting him live, though. Yeah, I could probably do that. Uh, out of heat space anyway, yes. Okay, so that didn't... Didn't matter which choice you made, it still crashes. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna have to, um, let me uh, try allocating some more memory here. Um, do, 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 do. Let's try 32. And CPU auto. I mean, this should not be dynamic. We can try going to normal though, auto and auto. Okay, let's try it this way. Turn the detail level down to the minimum. Turn the speed up to the maximum. Change DOS memory stacks. Okay, well, let's just see this one. I made a couple of minor tweaks. If those don't work, then yeah, thanks, Silla. We, we may end up doing that. Um, let's see what happens if we take the Grail. Just I want to see if we get any soul points for that. After he gets turned into a... And corpse. Yeah, I don't remember there being a detail. Well, I may not have brought up the options screen to, to see a detail slider. Let me first see about the score. Yeah, okay, so you do get you by uh, having mercy on him, even though he stabs you in the back, uh, you do get five soul points. So that was worth doing one thing. Okay. Um, okay, now hold on. Let's see if we do we have, we have sound, volume. Um, yeah, we can set the speed. Let's just go to normal and draw sword, look at. No, yeah, there's no other like option slider about Camelot is the uh, credits. Okay, let's just see what happens. 
Yep, still out of heap space. Okay, so I think I will have to um, take Silo's suggestion. Okay, detail level down to minimum. So I, I don't think I can do that. The speed up to the max. Um, so that I guess that would be the animation speed. Okay, what we should do, what I really should do is just edit the config file and add that one line because that's something I can definitely do. The line stacks equals 9,256. Actually, well, I don't want it in that category. Um, download more RAM. Doesn't have useful suggestions. Great. It's weird though, you wouldn't think it uh, increasing the speed would, if anything, wouldn't that be more taxing on the game? I mean, I just added the line to the uh, to the config file stacks equals nine two five six. Maybe I can save it again before I um. Oh, whatever. Beating the game faster? Oh, you mean on a faster speed, Silo? Faster animation? Or just taking less time to do it. Let's see. Yep, so I'll keep space down. All right, I'm going to turn off the, the timer just until we get back to that point successfully. You take the shortest path to success. Okay, so basically just try to speed run it, well, essentially, from an earlier point. So, I mean, this, I think, was after I killed the Saracen. Would that be the, the time to do it? If we go ahead and um, just do the dove, push the pillar, all that stuff. Or do I, or do I need to get my animation? Do you, do you guys recommend putting the animation um, all the way up to to max? So. Okay. Yeah. Let's get the speed up to the max. Um, so I could hit just the plus sign a bunch of times. Actually, let me see one thing here. Okay. Yeah. So I have to do that. All right. Okay, yeah, now he's moving. He's moving under grooving now. Okay, this part's gonna, I mean, I can't skip through this part. Well, I'm gonna can with this. Yeah, I'm at 3,000 cycles now. Um, it was at 10,000 before, so that that should make a pretty big difference there. Push pillar. Ah, it moves. All right, got the grail. Hey, koala. Yeah, in this case, we didn't have to choose from among 15 of them. We just. There's just one buried under a pillar, of all things. Okay, let's have the thief steal it. I mean, I have the max speed, but probably they, they don't want you running so fast that you catch them right away.
Okay, take rail. Okay, Grail kills him. Yeah, it is still max, but it can't, um, since these are, like, essentially cutscenes, I can't make, I can't get him to go any faster. Damn it, still out of heap space. So, I could put cycles farther lo lower. Actually, the Grail killed him. I chose to give mercy, and then he stabbed me in the back, and then the Grail killed him for us. Koala. So, restoring that earlier thing did not work. Um, yeah, let me... Let me bump down the cycles here to, like, 1,000. Could that help? Okay. Oh, yeah. Wow, it takes a long time to uh, <laughs> restore. Okay, time to let the Grail decide his fate. So he comes to the end he deserves. At 1,000 cycles, can you get through there? No. No. Damn. Alright, let me see what other... I'm going to mess around in the... Uh, um, DOS box settings. So maybe I could do dynamic. That's usually used for very demanding games, but maybe I can... Cycles max. A different save file that someone else provided, meaning my whole the whole game is borked, regardless of where I load it from. Damn. Uh, yeah, let me just try one more time. Yeah. Oh, thank you, TBZ. Yeah, I, the um, shortcut to start the timer and also decrease cycles in DOS boxes is unfortunately the same. I can't change that. Uh, all right. So let me see one other thing. So is the issue that I should... Um, uh, it's unclear how far back I would have to go. So, I mean, just add more memory. I'm just going to go 100 megs of memory. Do I want to use load fix? Whatever, I'll try it. Go cycles max. Oh, wow, couldn't even... Couldn't even run on those settings. Just crashed right away. Get rid of that. 63 is the max. Oh, thanks, Zillow. Good to know. Yeah, I don't know how much of it is a bug with the game itself versus also the difficulty in playing this on DOS, you know, DOSBox. To be fair. Hey, Joy. I really hope I don't have to do the final fight again. Yeah, still have to keep safe. Damn. Uh, well, let me uh, let me ask folks this then: Are we 
is the only thing left to see some sort of like end uh, sequence, or is there is there any gameplay left? Are there any puzzles or anything left that has to take place, or are we basically just returning to Camelot and greeting Guinevere and the knights and things, or do we still need to like take home Galahad and stuff? Okay, so if it's only the ending left, then I might just do what Akago suggested, which is bring up the, um, which is actually bring it up on um, on YouTube. Okay, there is no more gameplay. Okay, awesome. So yeah, I'm just gonna bring it. Up. I'm just gonna try to um, uh, bring. We'll just see it on YouTube then, because it's not it's not worth having to do that fight all over again. Whatever, especially when it's not gonna change anything. The only question would be what our final scores would be, but I guess even that doesn't really matter. I mean, all that much. Um, I just go to this guy's Let's Play. On what I should do. No, oh, yeah, I think the scores are high enough where that's not going to be an issue. Probably because if you're able to take the Grail at all, that's probably um, you're probably in good shape. Okay. Um, so all these last plays are obviously going to have the. The, um, per the YouTuber speaking over it, so I'm just going to mute that and we'll just play the game music. Running out of heap space is bad. Okay, here's this guy doing the Saracen fight. Okay, here, I see where it is. Okay, so let me just uh, capture this in the browser. Oh, you got a long play with no commentary? Oh, awesome. Thanks, Gaga. Sorry I missed that. YouTube has been bad, like, loading for me at least the last, like, week or so. Okay, perfect. Oh, come on. To do the capture again? Ah. Um, so the game was distributed freely, actually, Koala, on um, Christy Marks, who is the uh, game designer on her website. So I don't think it's not commercial at all anymore, so. Okay, there we go. Oh, shoot, one second. Let me switch over here. Okay, so let's unmute that. All right, let's try this. Now you must move quickly to find Galahad and Camelot. Return to Camelot. Hey, we're not out of heap space. <laughs> what do you know? Ah, uh, there's Galahad. My king, you have won the grail. Aye, but rise, Sir Galahad, and draw near to your king at once, a great power, something. The Grail has chosen to bring you home in your desperate hour of desperate need. The Grail has brought you here, Arthur. Only one god may rule in thy kingdom now. The altar of the Christ God awaits its vessel. Cast down your eyes. The radiance of the Grail is too great for any man to see. Behold, Mithra has been driven away, and the Grail is gone. It has become a healing force that spreads outward, touching every corner of your kingdom.
The land returns to life. The lakes and rivers and wells fill once more with clean, fresh water. Camelot is healed! You receive Guinevere's praise and adoration, as you have well earned. Your knights salute you, and the joyous cries of the love and gratitude of your people fills the air. And so you have won, through purity of spirit and heart, through skill and strength, no praise is too great. Merlin's like just enjoying like a aperitif there. With peace and prosperity return to your kingdom, you have the time to rest and enjoy the land you have saved. But though your land is healed, your heart is not. Perhaps it never shall be. Whoa, look at those shifty eyes from Lancelot. Jeez. What is he saying? Okay, why is it, why are they moving his bath? Okay, there we go. Finis. In. After ten hours and thirty-four minutes, the conquest of Camelot and great. Wow. Okay, now things are really going poorly. Is my webcam frozen? I don't know. But anyway, it is a GG. Galahad, Gawain, and Lancelot have all been saved. The Grail has been found and returned, and Camelot is saved once more. Yeah, w w what a thing to... Fr fr uh, <laughs> what an image to freeze on, too, with my eyes closed there. Let me see if I can uh, restart the, uh, <laughs> the webcam. Oh wow, that's silly. Hopefully, I think switching scenes will probably fix it, but I'll let, I'll let the credits run. I'll let the credits run. Um, actually, maybe if I just turn this off and on. Yeah, so I actually did better than this person did. Um, yeah, definitely in skill and soul. Man, even wisdom too, actually. I did better in that uh, playthrough. So uh, thanks, Akago, for, for sending that over. And uh, we head to our Hall of Adventure. Let's see if my... If I'm back? Yes, I am back. Okay, great. Yes, we are back. Okay, good. Uh, so the game as a whole, yeah, the arcade sections are really bad, um, as was the Frozen Lake. But the rest of the game, it was easy. I can see what folks are saying by it being kind of easy, the puzzle solutions. The riddles were, um, I would say, challenging. Um, and I did enjoy the sequence in the Jerusalem Bazaar. The combat system was atrocious. My con Oh, Douglas Herring, who did the combat system, yeah. Uh, but that was kind of amusing, and um, I think the scoring system was kind of cool too. It would be interesting if you took... Uh, with One of the things I'm going to be interested in reading about on reviews and things is if there are alternate solutions for puzzles beyond the obvious ones, just to see what the disparity of scores could look like. Um, but I think that scoring system is pretty neat. So even though the bad things about the game were very bad, um, I think there was certainly enough good stuff there, um, especially all the research um, Christy Marks did and imbuing it in the whole sort of mythos of uh, or the mythology, not only the uh, gr Greek mythology, but also just the Arthurian legend kind of as well, too. Um, so, yeah, it was a solid game.
Let's put game number 55, Conquest of Camelot, The Search for the Grail, up on the board. There it is, right after D.